this is so hard for me to have to show you, but I have to. It's important. And I like RFK Jr. I need to say this right off the bat. I like that he's in the mix. I like that he's shaking things up. He's talking about things that other people won't talk about. And we're used to hearing him talk about these things. What I'm not used to hearing him talk about are other issues that are really important for the president to have a stance on. Immigration, uh, abortion was another issue. Well, Charlie Kirk just did an interview with him where he asked really pointed questions. And this was a huge, a huge fumble in my opinion. So he did say, however, that he did support a wall and that he didn't support the unfettered illegal immigration that's being allowed in our country under Biden. But his other stance was very muddy. He dodged a lot of questions, wouldn't give actual answers. So here's a clip. I encourage you to watch the whole thing on your own. Here it is. Was big on immigration, as you well know, and transformed the legal immigration system and took green cards over a million a year. And I know this is a wonky question, but is there a set number of legal immigrants you think our country should take? Are we taking too many right now? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I mean, I, you know, I, I would I'd love to hear the arguments either way about it. Well, like, I mean, example, tell, me, tell me this. Yeah. How many do you think? Well, I'm not running for president. I think we should have a moratorium. Right. So like a, a, a complete moratorium. Well, of course. Yeah. yeah so and then in, in, what about it with that harm businesses that like need uh, workers? It could, it could harm multi-billion dollar, trillion dollar tech companies. Yeah. But I, I but for, you don't think anybody else would be harmed by it? Potentially. But I think that allowing yourself to digest the big meal of mass immigration I think that was a very fair question. I think that's a very pro-immigrant question too. And it was really disappointing to see the response. Look, immigration is probably one of the biggest issues that we're facing as a country right now, unfortunately, because what's being allowed to happen on our southern border. And for me, right now, today, now that could change. But if you were to ask me what the biggest issue is, going into 2024 what i would tell you is it's immigration it's our open borders because it affects absolutely everything and to have a presidential candidate when that is one of the biggest issues facing our country right now to not have a clear and strong stance that's actually disqualifying for me and i can't believe i'm saying that but it, it really is totally disqualifying you need to have a hard knowledgeable stance on immigration going into 2024 and i'll tell you why because what's happening right now so we just got cbp numbers on the southern border 45,000 encounters on the southern border it's friday right now since monday in four days that's 45,000 people that's enough to fill up yankee stadium okay on monday we had the highest number on record 12,600 people entered our country illegally and were let in. This is why it is such a big deal. And it doesn't just affect business. Uh, it affects everything. It affects every single social service, healthcare, police, fire, education, infrastructure, sanitation, every single thing this affects. I was watching a local news report out of Chicago yesterday, I was watching this and they were interviewing a woman who lives at a giant migrant facility. And the woman was saying she just arrived here a few days ago and already had to be rushed to the emergency room. She is staying there with her husband and her her small children. She has two brain tumors. Her child had, one of her children has leukemia. That is heartbreaking, but they don't have health insurance. Who is paying for that? You're paying for that. You're paying for all of their health care. And you have people coming over the border with these issues every single day. And that is just one little drop in the giant bucket of how this affects absolutely everything. We're not having doctors come over the border. We're not having nurses or teachers. In fact, those people are leaving the field already in record numbers because they're overworked, underpaid, and they're stressed out and they're dealing with behaviors that they're not used to having to deal with. So I'm sorry I had to share with you that clip, but I think it's really important to see. In my opinion, we cannot have a candidate that is wishy-washy on this issue at all. I also felt it necessary to share that because a lot of Donald Trump supporters also really like RFK Jr. 
But there's obviously a conflict there because a really big issue for a lot of Trump supporters are is immigration.